Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. We are back to actual Jujutsu Kaisen this week with the Season 2, Episode 6. No more specials, no more nonsense. Just the main three here. Nor Nobora, Itadori, Fujiguro, Megumi. Now that I realize that I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's uh, I find it funny because that is definitely... A girl's name. So, we just start with them, you know, being done with the mission. Uh, she's gonna go shopping. Uh, Itadori here is talking about Human Worms 4. Apparently there was also a 1 through 3. A uh, guy transforms into a worm. A little bit of a love story. A little bit of a murder story by the sound of it. And she was like, yeah, I'm going shopping. Uh, then we have uh, Mr. Toto here. Uh, g basically, he's one of the two that are suggesting five students uh, to become a first class. So that is like the first step um, of actually getting paid for being a Jujutsu Sorcerer. Um, essentially, you have to have two people nominate you, uh, then you are kind of training under a first class, and then I'm assuming, you know, you have people nominate you for higher classes, so on and so forth. Uh, and apparently, uh, Toto here thought he could, uh, work with Itadori, but no, if you, if you are the one nominating them, you are not allowed to work with them, and that makes the poor, him very, very sad, and lose the ping pong match. Uh, then we run into, after the introduction, a girl that used to be friends with Itadori, or I guess still is friends with Itadori, just hasn't seen him in a long time because she moved to Tokyo, and now Itadori is also moving to Tokyo. And apparently she was a larger woman, uh, and now she is not so large, and she got taller. Um, and apparently she kind of had a crush on Itadori, uh, and was like, uh, <laughs> you know, can you, can you meet up with him? You know, I thought I ran into him, didn't make it happen. And then she was like, yeah, yeah, let's make it happen. So she's being a great wingman. Great wingman. Uh, and then Fujiguro here shows up, and he is also being a good wingman. Um, <laughs> trying to get them to, uh, you know, get it together here. And uh, they're, they're, they're trying, uh, they're hyping their boy up. They're hyping their boy, and they're helping, the, and helping him out. And she was like, absolutely, I have no intention of dating him, which I thought was pretty hilarious how she just, like, came out and said that immediately. She was like, yeah, no. No, 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 I, I am not dating him ever. No, 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 you go right ahead. You go right ahead. You take him <laughs> and all of his problems. So they end up calling Yuji over. He shows up. Um, first, he's like, who are you? Then he remembers who they are. And um, they just kind of hang out, you know, have a nice little conversation. Uh, her name is Ozawa. And, you know, we get a little bit of a flashback of her, you know, uh, essentially in um, what I'm assuming is like middle school. Because I know they're all technically like in high school now. And, um, you know, the, some of the other boys kind of made fun of her, but, uh, Yuji was not one of those boys. He was like, you know, if I had to go out with somebody, I would choose her because, you know, I, I like the way she eats stuff. I like her penmanship. I just kind of like some of the way she does. And that kind of pepped her up. Um, but, uh, she then re kind of realizes that, uh, you know what? I'm, 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 I'm becoming like some of the people that I hate, uh, to, to a certain extent. And she doesn't want to be with someone that doesn't want to be with her. And I, I don't think... You know, Yuji really wants to be with her, you know? Decent friend, whatever, you know, no issues there. But, um, who knows? I'm assuming she has some sort of significance. There's probably going to be a curse surrounding her, or she is going to end up generating a curse. Uh, that is my best guess of what will happen in the future with that. I really don't know. But, um, Nobra has the phone number, so it's it's all good. We can contact her if needed. Um, and then, and then Yuji ends up getting to hold a bunch of different bags, at which point, uh, they go see the worm movie, <laughs> pretty much. Um, so, they're on a mission, again, so we're, we're, we're gonna get into some fighting, which is nice. Um, this is kind of gonna be their teacher, I guess, for the, for a little while, um, while they are trying to become a grade one sorcerer. Um, so... They are looking for, uh, let's see, I'm going to, I'm going to play this here because I'm forgetting his name, uh, Makamaru. Uh, and then we got Miwa there. So there is a mole somewhere and they're thinking that he is the mole 
because it would make the most sense because he has the ability to make puppets and you know as small as a mosquito apparently and they can kind of do whatever so they are trying to find the mole uh, they are going to go after him they go open a door realize he is not there confirming that he is 100 percent in the mole uh, meanwhile we realize that he is working with ghetto uh, and mojito because the way his body is he has to be attached to this machine all the time and mojito has the ability to transform him essentially into a normal person um, they also have some sort of pact which i did not realize and apparently you do not know what happens if you break that pact so if you break the pact anything can happen maybe you get transformed into something else you die don't really know and ghetto was pretty pretty you know like hey just fulfill it and then we can kill him so they 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 want to kill him but uh they need to fulfill the pact first so he does that uh we get a nice little image here of him you know he but minus a scar on his face for whatever reason you would think you know if he's doing that or maybe that was there beforehand that we really don't know um we don't really know much about this character at all you know we, we saw him fight we know a little bit about him but uh we don't know a whole lot about him uh, as of last season and he ends up like all right i can't let you two you know be alive so uh he, he mainly ghetto but um this curse right here too uh mojito i believe if i'm remembering the name correctly uh he is a big danger too so they're gonna fight got some nice action sequences here at the end of the episode and then we have a giant gundam <laughs> that he's piloting um and then he was like oh well if he's inside of this he wouldn't want me touching it so we get a giant crazy blast from from this uh and essentially uh he wants to go after her because i guess this is his crush so that's that's the next step and uh kind of end of episode with them fighting you know he he, he blasts the giant you know cannon blast and that's where we end the episode off with so we're gonna start next episode with a fight let's uh let's go back to the intro here there we go there's that's probably gonna be the thumbnail right there because no i don't i don't like trying to, i try not to spoil things with this thumbnail because i'm sharing the videos places too but um decent episode to get back into it uh, a little bit confused about what's going on you know not 100 percent confused so we'll, we'll give it a 7 out of 10 uh decent fighting you know decent dialogue a little bit of character development we kind of have a general idea of what's going to happen in the foreseeable future uh but at the same time a little bit of confusion uh because i don't remember him really betraying anybody but apparently he did you know to, to try to seal gojo um and i think if i remember correctly i want to say gojo is sealed at this point in time i think that's what happened at the end of last season i'm trying to fully remember but if i remember correctly uh that's what happened um or gojo is confined to like a certain area or something um, I, I honestly don't 100% know, but because I think Makimaru, uh, or Mech, we'll call him for short, um, I think he was trying to help Gojo in some way, um, but a little bit confused, you know, as I said, you know, you're more than welcome to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, because I don't fully remember what happened by the end of season one, but uh, maybe I need to read up on, on the, wiki, the wiki page or something, but uh, other than that, good overall episode, uh, that's really all I have to say, hit that subscribe button on your way out, and as always, have a good one.